Good morning, that's the Montgomery Canal behind me. I'm on the way to work and I'm doing some fishing. When I got up this morning, I noticed a shape on the window ledge outside the landing. We live in a dormer bungalow, so it's only a few steps up. And a closer inspection revealed that it was our pet pigeon. If you saw one of my recent videos, you'll know that we've had a pigeon hanging around the house and that's been coming into the house itself. We feed it, very friendly indeed. Comes down to us when we go into the garden and hangs around basically where we live. Now we realize that it's roosting there as well. And we've called him Dyson, D-A-I, Dyson. Got a Welsh name there. But we call him that because he hoovers up everything from underneath the feeding station. Anyway, I'm about to cast out and I'm hoping that there are fish out there that will be hoovering up my bait, especially the one with the hook in it. It might be just a small roach, but at least I'm not a blanker. My rod's already made up, so when I arrived today, it was a very simple process to go fishing. It's a familiar setup if you do watch my videos on a regular basis, because there's the 0.8 gram float, the waggler, got the shot either side. On this occasion, of course, plummeted the depth. Fishing the boat channel, it's between five and six feet deep, and I've added a small shot there, about three inches away from the hook. Still a size 14, still a couple of white maggots, and I'm fishing over brown, brown crumb and mixed maggots. And it's working. Nothing big on the bank so far, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And as always, that's the important thing, isn't it, when you go fishing. Right at the very end of the session, I've used the landing net for the first time. It's a nice roach, isn't it? <laughs> 